us who act for a living, we've got our reasons why we do it. Some of us are artists at heart, some are storytellers who enjoy hiding behind interesting characters. There are those who do it for the love of the craft, probably a few that do it for the cash. But the results that come from that are truly gratifying, and they're even more gratifying when we are awarded by our peers and by our fans. The contenders for Outstanding Lead Actor have been honored with nominations, but let's now honor one of them with an Emmy. The gifted nominees are... Peter Bergman as Jack Abbott, the young and the restless. Anthony Geary as Luke Spencer, General Hospital. Ricky Paul Golden as Gus Itoro, Guiding Life. Christian LeBlanc as Michael Baldwin, the young and the restless. Michael Park as Jack Snyder, as the world turns. And the Emmy goes to... Is it two? Oh, no, Christian LeBlanc as Michael Baldwin, the young and the restless. <laughs> This is the second daytime Emmy for Christian LeBlanc. He once worked as a busboy at New York's Helmsley Palace. I talk such trash. I apologize, Michael, for saying I've got you like a trout. Ricky, where are you? I so apologize for, uh, for making the crank phone call and, uh, that your mother answered. I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> Tony, I was so scared of you, I didn't do anything to you. <laughs> Peter, I worship you and adore you, and, and one day I will get you for this. And I thank you. Um, th I, I, I'm at one already. Two people this year passed that meant a lot to me and made, and made it possible for me to be here. Rosie Bollier and Charles Nelson Riley, who turned to me one day at a play and said, Daddy will kill me if he finds out I'm dating the pig farmer. And I think it's probably one of the wisest things anyone could say at that point in that play. <laughs> thank you very much, everyone. to come on the 34th annual Daytime Emmys. Right now, let's go back to Lisa Rinna to discover what's going on in Cambridge.